I get another cool JSON sample to show you to, to add to your collection of list and library formatting samples. This is gonna let you create a pop-up to embed a video inside Microsoft Lists. It's probably gonna to come to SharePoint 2 at some point, but for right now, it's new and it's in Microsoft Lists. Let's check this thing out, let's get it set up, and I'll tell you all about it. So I'm on my software engineering site right now, and I've got a uh, tutorials uh, list, just a basic list. I've got a title field, and then I've added a custom column for the embed URL. Now for this, you're not gonna be able to just use a regular URL. What you'll need to do, it doesn't have to be YouTube either, but what you'll have to do is you'll have to find the embed code, and you'll need to get the URL specifically out of this. You don't want the entire iframe, you don't want the entire embed code, you just need the URL, and the list formatting will take care of the rest. So you copy this, and you'll paste it into some kind of field. I'm just using this field right here, and once you've done this, you can use this column or you can create a brand new column to hold the formatting. I'm just gonna reuse this to keep everything looking clean. So we're gonna go to format this column, advanced mode, and now we need our JSON, right? Well, now we need the JSON. So what we're gonna do for that is there's a blog that I want you to go to. It's uh, it's from the author of this JSON sample, Tetsuya Kawahara, uh, a friend of mine and fellow MVP, and uh, one of the major people who, uh, who contributes code samples, uh, JSON samples. Uh, so uh, the URL for this is in the description below. You're gonna go here, your browser will translate this if you need it to, but you're gonna go down to the bottom of the page and you'll see all of the JSON here. We're gonna copy all of this and we're gonna paste it in here. Now there's one change you'll have to make to this because you'll have to go up to, right now at least it's on line 20. You'll need to change this field to whatever the internal name is of your field. Now mine is YouTube URL, but if you've renamed your field to something else, it's whatever it was originally called. If you're not sure, um, let me copy this. Uh, if you're not sure what that internal name is, then here's how you find out. You go into list settings, and you click on the column that you want to use, and it's at the very end of the URL. You'll see here field equals, this is the internal name of the field, and it's, and it's going to be the original name that you called that field in case, you know, in the case you've renamed it as something. So here's how I can double check what my internal name is of my field. So we'll go back to the list, and we'll go back to formatting, advanced mode, and save. So we've got our formatting applied. It's got a really cool watch YouTube text on here. And if we click on it, nothing happens. Why? Because I told you that this only works on Microsoft Lists. Now, it could be that this is gonna work by the time you watch this video because I, like I said, I believe it's coming to SharePoint. But for now, what we need to do is we need to hop over to Lists. And let's open this back up. It looks the same. We actually could have applied our formatting here as well because you'll see it looks it looks the same, really. You'll have the same formatting option because Microsoft Lists really is the same as SharePoint Lists. But what we could do is if we click on this now, the video pops up. We can watch this, um, whatever we want to do. It, it's, it's a normal YouTube embed at this point. Uh, if it was Vimeo or some other type of thing, as long as you can get an embed code and grab the URL, and stick it in there, this is going to work for you. But this is a really cool solution if you don't have some sort of a video portal where you could share videos, that kind of thing. I do have a video on that if you want to see that. But if you don't have any anything like that set up, uh, you just want to have kind of a quick links type of thing where you could have shortcuts to different different videos to help your team out. This is an amazing, simple solution to do that uh, as opposed to just a regular old bookmarks. If you want it to kind of be integrated more into your uh, M365 environment, please try this thing out. It's really cool. Now, there are some caveats with this, which are more about how SharePoint does things than anything else. Uh, they are listed on Tetsuya's blog. 
Um, some of these things are that, oh, let me tra retranslate this. Um, it is, like I said, it is only available in Microsoft Lists. Uh, Microsoft shows that it's in the newer version of Microsoft Lists. I'm not exactly sure what that one means, but you should be fine if you're using it at this point. It will only work with the embedded URLs as well. Uh, it's it probably because of the way that the formatting, the, the custom row action specifically, uh, uses that URL to create the HTML and JavaScript. It's probably something about that uh, where it requires that you are the, uh, the embed URL. Um, you, you will have to set the HTML field security if you're using probably sites other than uh, YouTube. So you'll be able to change that by going into site information, site settings, and HTML field security. So whatever you're gonna be pulling the video from, you'll just need to make sure that that URL, the base URL anyway, is is uh, is added here, just like you'll see at YouTube. And you can't use the at current field special string uh, to configure this. So you will have to reference the field uh, explicitly you will need a field reference in your JSON formatting. By the way, if you're not real familiar with JSON formatting uh, to, to customize lists and libraries, I've got an online course. You'll be able to find the link in the description below to walk you through how all this works. It'll explain things like the current field, this, this custom row action, all these different little things, how to set the stuff up uh, from scratch. You'll know how to do all of this stuff. And I also just updated this with a few new lessons. And uh, this is another one uh, that I've got to make a note of right now and uh, go back and add this to that particular course. Because if you enroll in my course, you have lifetime access, which means as I'm updating content in this, you're always going to get it for free. So check that out in the link in the uh, description below. If it's right for you, I'll see you in the course. But we need to double check this formatting so you can see how the field reference is in here. And this is the thing we changed earlier in the video. We have to, we have to specify the field name uh, explicitly. So in, uh, in other situations, you'll just be able to use at current field to reference the current field that you're formatting to get that value. In this case, it won't work because of something about this embed action of the custom row action attribute. Uh, it's just the way it was designed. It needs the explicit field name. So um, let's see if there's anything else. I don't believe there was. No, that was it. So those caveats aside, try this thing out in your environment. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is really cool. Uh, uh, and there's a lot of uses I can think of for this. If you want to see another JSON solution, then click into this corner here because I've got a ton of these in my playlist and this one is definitely a good one.